pigeon gate. Mm-hmm. Now I want you to tell, because a lot of our listeners won't know this. Um, I'm going to set this up. David Cameron has been accused by Lord Ashcroft of inserting his penis into the mouth of a dead pig. <laughs> Getting piggy with it. As part of an initiation ritual. Natalie's not one bit surprised by it. I didn't think she would be. Um, I wasn't surprised because I knew something that had gone on that was even worse. That was even worse than that. Tell us about what went on. I want our listeners to listen carefully to this. Tell okay. us about Pigeon I, I'm Gate. Quite, I'm quite weary of this. I mean, I don't, it's funny I don't even like to repeat because I love animals. Yeah. And it's not a nice description I'm about to give. Um, but, you know, when I was hanging around with George and Christopher Coleridge was there and William and a few other other bodies... And they would talk about what they used to do, you know, to initiate certain cat people in the, into the club. And it went from, you know, electrocuting somebody, and they would laugh about who likes being electrocuted more than the other person, etc. But specifically, this pigeon incident that George described to me has always stuck in my mind. I didn't put it in the book because I didn't think anyone would believe me. And I didn't think it was something that I really wanted to repeat. But when the pigeon, sorry, the pig gate came out, I thought, well, you know what? I need to tell them what I know. And basically what would happen or what happened on, this, on that particular occasion from what George was relaying was that would, they would take a squab, which I now know is a baby pigeon. A baby pigeon, yeah. Um, or baby bird, I'm not sure. What, I think it's a baby pigeon. And they would hold someone, I mean... Please forgive me, anybody that's listening, if it's... Well, we're past the watershed, and it is disturbing. And um, I don't want to be pushing you. I did say before the show, I never push anybody. But this is no, vitally important. It. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to explain it in the way that's not... Uh, you can be as graphic as you want now. Too gruesome. Basically, the, the pig... Sorry, the um, pig, baby pigeon's head would be inserted into the buttocks of whoever they chose, which normally was somebody that was new and younger and weaker. He was held down, and the pigeons had to be inserted in his... In his rectum. In his bottom. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, the, the pigeons, are, the baby squab is alive. And it would be inserted, it would peck away and split until it suffocated, and it would cause the person pain and also... And, and the, in a lot and, of distress. It's disgusting. I hate repeating it. I don't think I will again after tonight. Yeah, and I don't blame you. And, but I thank you for for, for saying it. Um, but it's just, disgusting. But that's the kind of that kind of behaviour to me is psychopathic. It's. Do you know what? Um, you, you took the words out of my mouth. To say it's psychotic is an understatement. I'm going to repeat what Natalie said, and then I'm not going to repeat it again either. George Osborne, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, told Natalie that one of the uh, Bullingdon Club rituals for young members was that they would take a baby pigeon, insert the head of the bird into the uh, the the incumbent, the, the the guy who was being initiated. They would insert the head of the bird into his rectum until the bird expired, until the bird died. But what annoys me is it took Ashcroft. You see, Ashcroft can write a book about Cameron putting his willy into a pig's mouth. Yeah. Getting piggy with it. And everybody can, you know, jump on that. And yet, had I come out with my pigeon gate story, what pigeon get now, in 2005 or whenever, nobody would have believed me, and yet they believe him. And I'm kind of grateful that he's written the book and he's mentioned that because it kind of opens the door for people to say, well, you know what, I can kind of maybe toy with the idea that what she's saying is true, or I believe her or not. But if you can do the pig, you know, Pigeon Gate isn't too far away from that.